What's up my fellow gardeners? It's Adam here with GYV. I'm going to do a video about setting up a worm composter. I've, uh, over the years of gardening, I've experienced uh, different types of worm composting methods. And the, the other month, maybe two months ago, I was driving down the road and somebody was remodeling their house and they were throwing away a used uh, bathtub and I was like, sweet. I always wanted to do a bathtub worm composting system because my experience with all the other systems that I've had, they were really small and they were hard to maintain the moisture levels in the in the uh, worm composter and, and especially in Florida, things are really hot outdoors and I was thinking, hey, let's do a, a worm composter uh, a tub system that is large enough enough material inside to maintain the moisture levels to withstand some variations of heat and temperature and cold that Florida tends to throw at, throw at us uh, Florida gardeners. So I'm going to show you what I'm up to. I want to show you the supplies that I have and I'm definitely going to have to do a Home Depot run to get whatever I'm missing. But uh, my plans are to set one up, uh, trying to limit the amount of money I'm going to spend on this thing. I do have some supplies at my house that I've purchase over different projects around the yard that I plan on utilizing in this project and you know I don't think worms are very picky they just want a nice home with they have new nu nutrients and moisture to thrive and and that's what it's all about and and uh, getting an unlimited supply of great worm compost would be super ideal for my garden to help reduce the uh, amount of money spent in the garden getting free inputs is the way to go so let's check out what I have so, the other day, about a month ago, I was driving and somebody was throwing away this bathtub and, you know, probably wouldn't look too good in the house, especially if you're remodeling and it's in good enough shape to uh, use as a bathtub. And what's great about a bathtub is that the bottom's pre-sloped to a drain and so... If you've seen any other worm compost videos on YouTube about bathtubs, um, you know, everything just kind of drains out here into a bucket to catch all those nutrients that drain out whenever you water the uh, worm composter or just the excretion of what the worms put out go down the drain into a bucket. So, so I'm going to take this bathtub and I'm going to support it with these uh, bricks here. Uh, I definitely need to pick up some more. I think I need to go uh, three high on those bricks. And I'm probably going to pick up uh, a large, like, two foot by two foot pavers to set those bricks on. And I'm thinking somewhere here on the side of the shed, out of the direct sun, uh, so they uh, kind of get a good uh, temperature, not too hot. Because in my yard, uh, the afternoon sun is just totally bakes everything so avoiding the afternoon sun uh, is definitely a good uh, idea to do so I am going to run to Home Depot get the remaining supplies that I need I do have the worms they just came in yesterday so if you want to see what those worms look like check out my other video that I did about the red wigglers so catch you when I get back from Home Depot see you soon all right, everybody, I just got back from Home Depot. I think I bought enough supplies that I need to do a basic worm composter out of the uh, bathtub I picked up on the side of the road. So I got my daughter here, Allie, Hi. Who, who is uh, my assistant today to help assemble this uh, bathtub worm composter we're about to build. So. My name is Mrs. Claus. Oh, she's Mrs. Claus. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the uh, worm composter right here next to my shed so that it's out of the uh, direct sun. So it'll get a little bit of sun during the, the top of the day, but uh, it won't get a whole lot. I, I would imagine only an hour or two tops of sun. So let's get to it. Yay! <laughs> All, right. All right, so. Alright, stop right there. 
So when I went to Home Depot, I picked up some extra uh, concrete blocks, masonry blocks. Concrete blocks. Yep. And uh, see how it works out. Never built one of these before. So. First time. And if, er, in his life. Look, Daddy, a hawk. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Concrete plats. So I picked up uh, two um, 20 by 20 pavers. So I plan on setting the concrete Paper. blocks on top of it. So I'm going to try to put all this together with very little tools. Just see what happens. Never done this before. And uh, you guys get to go on this journey with me. I'm building this uh, bathtub worm composter. So I found this worm uh, this this worm composter. Found this bathtub right on the side of the road. Somebody was remodeling, and uh, so. This might work out great for me. by itself and make a worm case. Worm composter. I don't get it right. I'm only a kid. Okay. That's really big, Dad. So, it's tipping pretty good. Mm hmm. We have a garden at the back of our house and a garden in front of our house, and now we're, we have a we have a worm compost. Let's have a cheer to, and we're at 9,000 subscribers. 9,000 subscribers. If 10, once we hit 1 million subscribers, we're going to have a dance party. Okay, that's good. All right, so. With our worms. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna stop the video for a second. Whoop, whoop. Uh, the uh, tub is really, tipping over real easily. I don't want to put all kinds of stuff in here and and just fall over. So I'm going to go ahead and search through my uh, garage and the shed. Garage! And maybe even my parents' uh, garage just to see what's out there I could use. So Pink garage! We'll be right back in a second. 
Let's pause this video. All right, so I'm back. So I'm trying to do this project with, with very little tools. Uh, trying to keep this as simple as possible. Uh, so I came up with an idea of uh, using some fence T-post to uh, drive into the ground on the front of this thing to support the front edge of the bathtub to keep it from tipping over and maybe make this thing a little bit more level. It's going to be a little tricky because it's really tight because of the skirt, front skirt on the tub. I just got to make it, just got to get lucky I think. So I'm going to go ahead and drive these two T-post in. With some luck, this is gonna work. So let's try it. Alright, so earlier uh, when the, the uh, camera wasn't rolling, I put the bathtub up on here and I measured. It was like 40 inches from the ground to what I thought was uh, a good spot for the, for the tub. So we'll see. It would be awesome if I get this the first try. That uh, not using a level on this project and try and just use your eyes and hope it works out. I mean, this is just a worm composter. We're not building a house here. All right, that's pretty good. Wonder if the water drains. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, you guys gotta check this out. You can kind of see it. You can kind of see this. So the T post worked out great, but you can see a little long. I gotta drill them in deeper or bang them in deeper, I should say. So it's a good gap there. So uh, I'll try it again. this works. Starting to get heavy.
All right, so I think that's pretty good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments um, what you think about this so far. I think it's good enough. Uh, again, it's just for worms. It's a worm house in essence. And uh, you know, I weigh, I weigh like 280 pounds. And it can hold me up, so I think I should be able to handle the, these worms. So, okay, so let's test it to make sure the water flows out. I'll show you guys. All right. So let's see if the water drains out the. Yeah. So I got the water running and it's pouring out the bottom of the, the tub. That's where my uh, five gallon bucket, my five gallon bucket's gonna be. Catch all that worm juice. So, all right, let's keep going. So in the bottom of the bathtub, there's a, the drain that everybody has in their tubs. And everything I've seen online about building one of these bathtub worm composters is you want to put a piece of mesh, or I'm not mesh, some sort of like fencing material. Uh, this is like quarter inch by quarter inch fet, um, metal screening in essence. And I'm gonna use this to put over the top of the hole. I'm gonna go cut a piece of uh, weed cloth to put on top of this and then I have a small paver I'm gonna put on top of that so let me go uh, let me go cut the, a piece of weed cloth and I'll be right back okay I'm back I got uh, a piece of my weed cloth that I use in the garden to cover up my rose uh, water can penetrate through it so I plan on putting in the this on top of the wire mesh and then putting this paver on top of that on top of the drain hole. I'll show you guys. So here's the uh, so here's the hole to the drain for the tub. I plan on oh, putting this over that the weed cloth on top of that and then this paper on top of that and that should help keep the worms out and keep all the good stuff in all right so i got the drain plugged well not plugged i got the drain covered with a some wheat cloth and mesh to keep the worms in and keep all the uh compost in and but still allow all the juices to run out into my bucket below and uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up with, um, partially fill it up with uh, peat moss, cardboard, shredded cardboard, uh, some uh, green materials from the garden, some broccoli leaves, and then I have some alfalfa pellets I want to put in there as well. And then uh, add the worms to it or add moisture to it and put the worms in there. The only thing I'm lacking for this project right now is the, the actual cover. I plan on putting a piece of... Uh, either a sheet metal roofing material over it or a large piece of uh, pressure treated plywood or even regular plywood at the end for that and just cover the whole thing so the rain comes off the roof of the shed and just uh, sheds right off of this thing doesn't fill the bathtub full of uh, rainwater. so let me go ahead and start filling this thing up and getting it ready for the worms I, I hope you guys are enjoying this video it's been a fairly challenging video with Lots of, lots of mistakes, but that's all part of doing this, uh, doing gardening is, is the mistakes. So if you're not making mistakes, then you're not learning. So I hope you're learning stuff with me. And if anything, learning what not to do or, or thinking about other, other ways of doing this better. Uh, I'm just trying to use this, the, 
the materials I have here at my house to make this happen. So I hope you guys are enjoying this and let's get to it. So I have some peat moss I uh, took from my dad's garden, so don't tell him. And so I'm going to use this as kind of like the base of the uh, worm uh, composter to get to get the worms acclimated to the uh, to the composter, and hopefully that works. I'm gonna go get my uh, alfalfa pellets, put them in there, and go from there. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and I have uh, some alfalfa pellets I picked up from Tractor Supply a while back. They've been sitting over there by the garden for a long time. And so they're already kind of starting to break down. There's some mold in here and moisture that got into the bag. I'm gonna just spread it in here and I have uh, some broccoli leaves I'm gonna put in here. Hopefully they like broccoli. Go ahead and give this a little bit of water. I have some, uh, I have some shredded cardboard. If you go back to some of my other videos, uh, my daughters and I purchased a uh, shredder, a paper shredder, and we've been shredding our cardboard and using car like cardboard as mulch in the garden. And so I figure uh, use it here in the uh, worm composter too.
All right, so it's looking pretty good so far. Um, let me show you what, it, how much material I put in here. Oh. <clears throat> I'm intentionally not filling this thing up because I just, I just want to add in food scraps and just slowly build this up uh, in the bathtub. I've seen some other videos where they just fill this whole thing up smack full of stuff and and uh, I didn't want to do that. I think this is just enough material for the uh, worms that I have to kind of make themselves a home in here and then I can add in food scraps from the kitchen and the garden um, on a daily basis or whenever I have them. So I am missing the, the lid for this thing so what I'm going to do is I am going to probably cut a piece of my blackout plastic for for the uh for tonight and uh just cover it up so that uh, no light gets in here and and the worms can start making this thing into their home so let's try it okay i'm back so i was able to find myself a piece of uh sillage plastic i was using to black out the garden uh during uh, the summer months when i wasn't growing and then i went over to my dad's house and uh, picked up some of these uh, cl uh, clamps here to kind of clamp down the plastic for just this is just temporary until I get a solid piece of uh, plywood for the top of this thing but I'm itching to get the worms in their in their into their new home and that's that's my goal so uh, I'm gonna cut the plastic and just keep going on this thing so So if you're going to the store looking for black plastic, the black plastic they sell at Home Depot isn't the same. Uh, this stuff has UV rated, so it stops all the UV rays and the sun from coming in. So it's actually a blackout tarp. Uh, so don't think you're stopping any sunlight or any UVs with a black Fist Queen plastic at Home Depot. So I learned that the hard way too. So it's looking pretty good. Uh oh. All right, well, just like any project that you take on that you don't know what you're doing, you're always going to run into more and more problems as you just learn as you go and don't get upset and try not to try not let it get to you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go find a uh, piece of cardboard uh, you know, I, I have plenty of cardboard boxes. It's almost Christmas time, so we have an abundance of boxes here at our house. And I'm going to put that in here just to additional uh, protection for the worms. And then uh, let's get the worms in there after that. So I'll be right back with my cardboard and the worms, and we'll just keep going on this. So thank you, everybody. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Found my cardboard from the garage. I'm going to use this cardboard to just to lay over the top of the uh, items I put in here for the worms. And then I have my worms. So if you're interested to know what these worms look like when they first arrived to my property, I'd have another short video. I think it's like less than three minutes long if you wanted to find out. So check out that video and we'll go from there. All right, well, this is what it looks like. I put uh, a recap, I put shredded cardboard, I put broccoli leaves, I put peat moss in here, and I put alfalfa pellets in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dig a hole right here, and I'm gonna place all my worms right in that one spot. So this is the worms I got from uh, Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. I don't know if you can see that. 
but they're they're in there so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of cover them up and that's really it okay so we're on the home stretch I'm gonna go ahead and put my cardboard over the top and we're gonna cover this thing up with plastic. All right, well, I just wanna say thank you for watching my video on my worm composter, or should I say my bathtub worm composter. Uh, this is the first time I've ever built a um, a tub worm composter. I've had the other ones where I made the uh, tubs, the two tiers of Home Depot tubs. I even purchased a worm composter tower. You know, I didn't care for those because the, the material inside dried up too fast due to the Florida weather because I was keeping it outdoors. So I'm hoping with this bigger uh, bathtub, uh, the soil is going to be able to stay more moist and I'm going to be able to just add in the food scraps and stuff from the house and uh, really hope this works out. Uh, I'll definitely be giving some update videos on this uh, as the course of uh, all my other videos. So if you have any questions about what I did today or you see this video a year from now and you want an update, hit me up in the comments and I will do my best to tell you my experiences uh, with this system in place. So I want to say Happy gardening, everybody, and uh, let's grow food and catch you on the next one. Thank you.